high writers, you know, authors write for all kinds of reasons. They write poems to tell us how they feel. They write how to to teach us how to do something. They write books to teach us something like when we read about rules and laws. And a lot of times authors write to let their reader know about something that was really special and important to them. And that's what happened in Donald Cruz's Big Mamas that we read the other day. I wanna look back through this book and I wanna see what I can notice about Donald Cruz's visit to his grandmother's house, who he calls Big Mama. So I'm noticing, first of all, that he uses each page to tell one thing. He talks about the train ride there on one page. He writes about arriving and getting picked up on another page. And then as we go through and he gets into his grandma's house and they go around her farm, you see all kinds of things. Like he talks about how they go around barefoot. We've got the setting, we've got the characters. He tells us what they're doing. He talks about the pump, the water well. So I want us to think about today how we can stretch our stories out and we can make a book. So Donald Cruz kind of reminded me of one time when I went on a trip with my family. So I'm gonna make a book and I'm gonna write about a time that I went to go visit my cousin Rustin and he lived pretty far away. So this is the cover and I'm not ready to do the cover yet. So I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna always come back to the cover at the end, but I'm gonna start with this first page and because a writer always begins at the beginning, the beginning of my story is when I got on an airplane to go visit my cousin. Okay, boys and girls, so I'm starting with my airplane because that's my setting for the beginning of my story. I haven't made it to my cousins yet. I'm on the airplane. So I've got my airplane and I'm drawing it and I'm coloring it. And I'm also gonna put myself in one of the windows here because I'm in the story. So I've got my setting and I've got my character. Okay, so now that I have my plan here and my picture with my setting and who is with me, I'm gonna start to write the page. I'm gonna say, I flew on a plane to see my cousin David and Sheila came too. Because there's David and there's Sheila, there's me. And so that is what I wrote. I flew on a plane to see my cousin. David and Sheila came too. Okay, so I have my writing. I have the beginning of my story. And remember, I left my cover blank. I know you might not have paper like this at your house if you didn't pick up a blue folder. You don't have any of this and that's okay. You can use any paper to make a book. It doesn't matter. The books around your house are all made of different kinds of pictures and papers and all kinds of things. So that part's no big deal. I started with the beginning of my story and I already kind of have an idea of where I'm gonna go from here, but I'm gonna save the rest of my story for tomorrow because I'm working on my stamina and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote I wrote for 10 minutes today. It took me 10 minutes to do my picture and my writing. If you want to keep going, you can. But if you wanna stop, you can stop. You don't have to make the whole book today. Tomorrow I'm gonna to work on, let's see. I started, we got off the plane and we were so happy to see our cousin Reston. And oh, we'd flown to London. I should tell you where we were going. I should say when we got off the plane, this is what this page should be. When we got off the plane, we were in London, England. And then I should say, we went to high tea. We got to dress up really fancy and go to high tea. And I can say, we went to go see a musical one night. We went to go see my favorite musical, Les Mis, except maybe my new favorite musical is Hamilton. How do I know? I don't know how to choose, but it doesn't matter. I'm just telling you what I did here. I don't have to tell you about Hamilton because that wasn't even in existence yet. 
then we went on an underground train. It went under the ocean and it took us to Paris. So that's maybe what I'm gonna put on this page. At the end, I'll probably have to talk about how we left and we were sad to say goodbye to Rustin because we knew it would be a while before we would see him again. And we gave hugs and cried a little bit. So that's what my plan is. But I'm just starting with the beginning. I'm stretching this story out over a lot of pages, just like Donald Cruz did. Cruz did. He didn't tell the whole thing on one page. He told all about all the different things about being at Big Mama's, right? So that's what I want you to do today. I want you to think about a time when you've gone somewhere special or done something special with someone. And I want you to think about stretching it out. Just start with the beginning. Just tell what you did at the beginning. And then tomorrow we'll turn the page and we'll tell about what we did next. Writers, I am so excited to read your stories and see all of the places that you've been.